Hi, I'm Jess. And I'm Greg. We're from Roughly, and thanks for tuning in to our detailed breakdown of the K9 Moto Cockpit. We want you to share the thrill of the ride together. That's why Roughly builds motorcycle dog carriers and accessories that let you ride with your big dog in a way that's safe and doesn't sacrifice the look or performance of your bike. The K9 Moto Cockpit is a motorcycle dog carrier for medium and large sized dogs. It's meant for dogs in the laying down position rather than the upright seated position because it's more comfortable for the dog and it allows them to last for longer rides. It also keeps the dog's weight low so it has less impact on the look and performance of your bike. In this video we're going to talk about the frame, the base plates, the anchors, the upholstery, and last but not least the custom mounting. But first just a little something about the design principle behind the K9 Moto cockpit. We like to joke that it's the carrier that doesn't carry her because as much as possible we want the dog's weight directly on the motorcycle. So where we have a passenger or pillion seat and a luggage rack behind it, we want the dog laying directly on those components. And then the cockpit will carry just the additional weight to the rear of that. Also, in terms of sizing, the standard cockpit is 80 centimeters by 40 centimeters. That's about 32 inches by 16 inches. And then we have a mini version that's 68 centimeters by 35 centimeters, or about 27 inches by 13 inches. Where necessary, we can go bigger, we can customize, but we generally don't go smaller than the Mini. So in terms of the size of dog that can fit in the Mini and standard cockpits, generally we find that the Mini cockpit can support a dog up to about 45 pounds. And then from there, the uh, standard goes generally from about 45 up to 80, 85 pounds. But the actual measurements of the dog is really what matters. And for that, we have a little thing that we call the towel trick. Uh, place a towel on the ground uh, measured out to the footprints of the mini and or the standard and then put your dog laying on top of it with like all their limbs inside and take a photo see what, what looks best for your dog. If your dog is pushing up past that 80, 85 pound limit for the standard cockpit or is otherwise kind of heavily built, heavily built. <laughs> <laughs> So if your dog is really pushing past that 80, 85 pound limit for the standard cockpit, we've built larger cockpits. So reach out to us at goroughly.com. We'll talk through sizing and make sure that your uh, bike can handle that weight. So the cockpit's tubular frame is made of three quarters inch tubes or pipes. We cold bend and weld them together and they start with four pieces. We've got the top piece that goes around the top, comes back, connects to the bottom piece, rear, and then a vertical crosswise component as well. The K9 Moto Cockpit has a primary base plate that goes across. It is three inches wide and a quarter inch thick. And then depending upon the size, you have either three or four secondary base plates, which are an inch and a quarter wide and three sixteenths thick. And then the rear of the cockpit has two additional secondary base plates. The cockpit has nine anchor points, four in the rear corners, four in the front corners, and then the ninth in the front center. They're made of 3 8 inch bars that are welded to the frame. This is for tethering or harnessing your dog securely into the cockpit, as well as mounting gear to the exterior of the cockpit. Once the cockpit frame and base plate are finished, we will polish all the weld points and then put on anti-corrosive paint. Now let's talk about how we build out the custom mounting for different styles of bikes. When it comes to ADV and tour style bikes, uh, we generally have a luggage grid or luggage platform to the rear of the passenger seat and usually we've got four screws that we can work with and that's all weight bearing. That does a lot of the job. Then up front we always look for a pannier rack uh, to mount to some other support bar that we can run down. Um, otherwise we always include this really heavy duty iron bar that allows you to run a tether down to the pillion pegs. For cruiser style bikes, generally we can work with the sissy bar rack. There are generally two or three screws on the fender on either side of the rear wheel hub where we can mount support bars down. Uh, and then often there's a screw just behind the, the pillion or passenger seat where we can put a support bar up. So think of like a, a bridge. The cockpit is kind of on stilts and suspended at the level of your pillion seat. 
So then for sport bikes and naked bikes, things can get a little bit more complicated. Oftentimes, if we remove the passenger seat, we can find some weight bearing mounting points under there, in which case we build a complete or full base plate for the cockpit and we just keep the, the pillion seat off entirely. In other cases, aftermarket accessories like luggage racks and, and um, pannier racks can help us for mounting as well. The frame is covered with three inch pool noodles. We use pool noodles because they're soft but firm and they're really resistant to the elements. The cockpit is upholstered with outdoor vinyl. You get your choice of color and texture as well as the color of stitching. Go check out the options at goroughly.com. Your cockpit also comes with a three inch removable seat cushion. It has a zipper so that you can remove the foam on the inside and it also comes with Velcro so you can adhere it to the base plate. The upholstery is lined with reflective ribbon so that you're more visible when you're riding at night. Thanks for tuning in to our detailed breakdown of the K9 Moto Cockpit. If you have any questions about colors, sizing, or anything else, feel free to reach out to us through our Contact Us page or through our live chat app at GoRoughly.com. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.